guys, it's Emma here. So today I'm going to be doing uh, not really a full cruising video because I already did the one a few days ago. But this is going to be like because we've actually uh, there's actually a pretty cool swing bridge here, so we'll be showing that. But first we have to go through a lock. We actually are technically on the um, the Kennet and Avon Canal and the Kennet and the what is it? Kennet River, I think. I can't. <laughs> sure, I can't remember, but yeah, we're here and it's a bit currenty, so you have to go through a lock. And then in winter, it's actually quite dangerous because then there's like this some current coming under this bridge, and then there's this boat. And I've filmed loads of clips yesterday to show you, but then I'll also show you the swing bridge because the swing bridge is electric and you get to push buttons. And I love pushing buttons, <laughs> so let's go. So here's the lock, um, it's a strong water flow lock so um, when you open the paddles water literally rushes in so much and we're on the part, we're actually on part ri River Kennet and Kent and Ethan Canal so it's part river so we have to be careful um, so um, what we have to do is that when I, once I, once I empty the lock and my mum's in the lock um, I opened the gates, I ran down to open the swing bridge, then my mum went through and luckily it isn't actually winter yet and it rains a lot because if it did then the current would be much much stronger and because of that there is actually a boat that I will be showing in a minute, um, I'll explain that when I actually show it, but there's a boat and um, it's actually really, it would be really strong current in winter so it's actually quite dangerous you go on the Thames or any sort of river in the winter so luckily it wasn't winter <laughs> um, but yeah this um, yeah Is. this is on like the other side and you can probably technically paddle here but it's just a bit deep and here's the boat that I was talking about it's a CRT boat um, so if it is like quite currenty then if the boat goes like that way it clunks into that boat and doesn't clunk into the bank um, so that's the CRT boat uh, and it's like loads of tires along so you don't hit the bank and damage your boat or the bank because that would be really bad and you can actually see the swirls of the current so that's actually quite pretty and cool but yeah we <laughs> took this opportunity to walk the dogs as well so <laughs> until the swing bridge opens then once the boat goes through just keep um then just hold on to the close button and it closes it's actually really cool because you feel quite powerful when you stop traffic or cyclists or any sort of thing so you feel quite powerful with that <laughs> but um yeah you just put my key put, put the key in and the buttons glow and you get to press buttons so i'm a big fan of that <laughs> Um, she's gonna, mum's gonna wait there till I've set the lock because obviously it's a bit currenty. 
so it's a bit easier just to stay there while I prepare the lock. At this lock, the paddles are, you have to leave the paddles empty, and the, you have to leave the lock empty. So the paddles are up, so first I have to close the paddles. Oops, the paddles were already closed, so that's such a great bonus because I didn't have to do the paddles anymore. So I'm quite happy, and there's a train. Past these loads of moorings, we've had loads of train tracks. I'm going to be like crazy close, but yeah, there's a train, and yeah, let's do these pedals. Who's me call today? I'm actually quite happy because the logs in the summer have been absolutely crazy. It's been so hot. And it's just been really hot and I've actually for the first time worn my jumper then I'm starting to get a bit hot in. So I'm probably still gonna take this off but yeah, it's a bit disappointing because it's so dewy that I can't sit on the locks. But we actually got about seven o'clock in the morning and that was pretty early, but we wanted to get to we have to go through two locks, obviously the electric swing bridge, and you have to go through the swing bridge that's manned, so you have to get the at 11 or 4 so I heard with this lock that it's actually quite fast to fill but really really slow to, fill, to empty so it's actually quite filling quite fast luckily but probably it's gonna slow down soon because they like rush in and then like you have to wait like five minutes for it to actually fill up all the way so yeah the lock because I forgot my iPad on the other lock bit so and I was on the other side so I didn't get to film that but I've got my iPod back now and it was actually accidentally recording and I actually got a really cute cloud time lapse for this into this video but yeah the lock is emptying right now seems to actually doing a pretty good job it's actually not as slow as I heard it would be because I mean, we saw someone coming through and he said it's like incredibly slow to fill but I don't know, but yeah, so it's actually emptying quite fast and now then I just need to go over that, over the bridge and to the electric swing bridge. Okay, so um, with a lot, one of the lock gates are open right now. I was about to go over that lock gate, but I just remembered that you need the key. So both of the lock gates are open. I'm just going to stay there while I open the swing bridge. Um, and I actually was really thirsty, so I got my water bottle and now I have to carry it. So I got the key. I literally completely forgot the key and my mom just threw it to me from the lock, so it wasn't best, but I got it and let's go to the swing bridge. The swing bridge is super exciting because this is an electric swing bridge and it stops traffic. So I'm really excited about this. But um, actually, this is my second one. I did one, but I was with one of my friends and they were helping me with it so I didn't film that but yeah let's open this
is this special spring bridge and they're actually doing work on it right now it's a lift bridge and the CRT operate it but you can only go through it twice a day at 11 or 4 um, so you have to go in specific times because they are doing work on it but we managed to get there on time so that was good. Okay, so I stopped here for some water and I went to the chandlery and surprised my mum with these. Her one says Captain, I have crew and they are so cute. And literally my mum looks so cute in her. And this is crew and I love it. And like I haven't actually seen myself in it but <laughs> Oh my gosh. So yeah, I love these hats. It's so cool. So we're going on to the River Thames soon, so we need some things for that. So we've, you need life jackets, a map book so you can like map your route, um, and you also need an anchor. We probably won't be, we probably won't use our anchor, but you have to go on it to go on the Thames because it's actually really safe. So we got an anchor and a chain. So yeah. Hi. So sorry about the bad lighting and the dogs barking. They don't like me being in the crash on my own. <laughs> So, I actually don't know where we are. I filmed that a few days ago. Um, but we are, I think, probably like we're. I can't. We're kind of like probably on the outskirts, a bit further away from Reading. Um, and we actually, on that cruising day, I said I was probably going to be doing like two locks. And we ended up. I don't know how many locks we did, but I know it wasn't two. It was probably about three or four. We managed to go through the lock, buddy, because we couldn't find a mooring. But I'm really happy with a lock buddy. And some of the locks were manned, so I was actually quite happy. Um, but we went through a lot of electric swing bridges. Um, but we ended up cruising more than we actually did. But we actually ended up in this really pretty mooring. It was in the middle of nowhere, and we stayed there for a few days, and now we're in this 48-hour mooring. And we're probably gonna leave tomorrow morning. Um, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Don't forget to give it a like subscribe and comment down below what you would like to see next and also um there is going to be a series coming out on the river thames i'm going to be doing i'm going to be filming probably about every day what's happening on the river thames so i'm really excited about that um so stay tuned for that so see you later bye